Well, good morning. Um, thanks for coming. My name is Paul. This is Frank. And um, we have an idea to share with you this morning uh, that uh, Frank and I have been talking about, thinking about, working on for about six months. It's still in the idea phase. Um, we're both pretty excited about it. Um, we'd like for for part of this session to be not just you all listening to what we have to say about the idea, but we want to hear your ideas too. And so, um, you know, we hope that there'll be plenty of time after we're done talking to share what ideas you guys might have to make this idea that we started with better. Um, the the uh, the big idea is that Joomla is you know, one of the most popular content management systems in the world. That's what our reputation, that's what our brand is built on, and that's great. We're happy about that. We're proud about that. But really, um, what's, uh, what's behind that is the community of people that has a philosophy, has a spirit of sharing, and that's really, to us, the heart of what Joomla is about, what makes Joomla special. And so um, this idea that we call Joomla Think Bigger is, uh, is to highlight that Joomla is not just a great, great content management system, but also a great community that's doing great things. And um, the, the principle behind this that we call Joomla Think Bigger is to use Joomla user groups and Joomla.org website to recognize worthy causes and all those who are supporting them. So um, basically, there's uh, you know, hundreds of Joomla user groups around the world, thousands of community members who are doing great things. And if we can, if we can use the project's resources to help organize and support those folks, um, and, and point them in a direction, then um, I, my dream is that Joomla wouldn't just be known as a great content management system, but it would be also known as the community that's helping to make the world a better place by supporting worthy causes, charities, nonprofit organizations, and we're going to recognize them. Um, we're going to, the, the charities, the worthy causes, we're going to recognize um, sponsors and agencies that, that get involved with the program and we're going to recognize the volunteers that are going to help make that possible, too. Um, so this is, a, uh, this is a screenshot of the lower portion of the Joomla.org homepage. And we get currently tracking seven and a half, eight million user visits a month. So a very high traffic website. And you'll see at the bottom of, um, excuse me, of this screenshot, there's a couple of links. Look who's using Joomla, and we've, we've got some graphic images of some big global organizations that are using it. There's a link here that says, view more companies using Joomla, and, and another link, view thousands of governments using Joomla. What part of the idea is, is that we'll add a third link here that would be, um, you know, view worthy causes using Joomla, um, view organizations that are helping to make the world a better place using Joomla, that kind of idea. And so we'll, we'll have a prominent link on the Joomla.org homepage that when you click on that, this is, uh, this is a, each of these blue subtitles are also links that point to Joomla articles that highlight each of these websites. So this, these are the links of the, the businesses that are using Joomla. We'd have create something like this, but I think better, nicer for the for the Joomla Think Bigger links. And so the idea is is that we would we would have links for prominent Joomla websites, well-designed Joomla websites for worthy causes, charities, nonprofit organizations that are using Joomla. Um, that the project has had some level of support and involvement um, to to get them to get this additional exposure. We hope that the, the nonprofit organizations themselves will get some extra exposure through this. 
Um, our sponsors will get some extra exposure through this. And uh, again, the volunteers will too. And so if you click on any of these links, once we get this program up and running, then you'll get another web page that talks more about that organization, talks more about sponsors that helped them, talks more about volunteers that helped set up that site. So the uh, at Joomla Day Denmark back in October, I think it was October last year, um, I shared this concept first with Alice Grave from uh, who's another open source matters board member. Frank was there in the audience. Um, Henrik Holm Nielsen um, was also in the audience. Um, we gave an invitation for folks that wanted to get involved to help continue the idea and move it forward. And they both responded. Um, we've since had some other people who uh, have also responded. Um, and again, part of the idea, we wanted to use Joomla user groups as sort of uh, local presence around the world to be able to, uh, you know, there's already groups that are organized, um, people that know each other, that can, and that know nonprofits, worthy causes, um, organiza nonprofit organizations that they could interact with and help. So, okay, with that, I think I'm going to let Frank share what, uh, what his initial experience was after talking to his user group in Hamburg, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. Right. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. <laughs> Give him. No? I'm not allowed to, sorry. Does it work? Hi, I'm Frank and I've been introduced in Denmark to the idea of Think Bigger and what I really liked about it, I did a charity website for a project in Africa. Um, actually, uh, my mom introduced me to it and um, some professor found out about 20 years ago that 80% of all skin diseases in Kenya will be caused just by seven illnesses, and uh, no, four illnesses. And so I thought, okay, we train people there to be able to treat these four illnesses and we'll be cover 80% of the skin diseases there. So if you think of a skin disease, it's not like acne here or something. Uh, skin diseases in Africa can be really, really bad. It's, it's, it's nearly like falling your flesh off your bones. And so we started a project, collect the money, training these people. And now, 20, days, uh, tw 20 years later, they are being able to treat far more diseases and doing far more good. And you help a lot of children because these health workers drive around in the country and uh, go to the schools and uh, treat the children there. So uh, you, you help the children to get a better health care and you help uh, people getting a good and also prestigious job. So you're doing good on two, yeah, two different levels. And they got a funding problem. And so my mom, who also went there to Africa, knew what they were doing and that it was a good job. And so uh, she asked me, um, Frank, can you build a website for them? I was okay, I'll, I'll do that. And uh, so I talked with Professor Schmeller, who yeah, got the whole thing running uh, about a website, what they had already on content, images, and so on. And so I started uh, building a 1.5 website for them. Um, um, I paid the hosting, I pay, uh, paid the domain, domain names, I did the regular updates, and uh, also migrated it to five and so that really helped them funding and the nice thing about this project it's they do not need a very very large amount of money they just need about th uh, 12,000 euros a year so it's not like saying, oh, we are fight fighting AIDS we need millions and uh, millions just to get something running it's just a very 
a relatively small amount of money and um, I wanted to help them to just get that money so this project would not die. And with the web page, we are able to get new corporate sponsors. Uh, for example, now we got two times in a row a major newspaper in Germany who sponsored with um, each year 6,000 euro. And they majorly did this because they got a very good bookkeeping and of the website also. So this helps. Even if the organization does not support me the full way, I would like to have it. But I'll come to that a little later. So when we had the talk in Denmark, I uh, went to the jug in Hamburg and I had a small introduction, about five minutes. Oh, there was this thing, bigger project, which is really cool, <coughs> but nothing really happened. So this year in spring, I uh, reintroduced it. I took the slides from Paul, translated them to into German, and yeah, reserved a slot for 30 minutes. So I said, I want to do a talk about this. Please listen. Um, a lot of people were there, listened, and then hell, we had a hell of discussion. I was really uh, astonished. I thought, damn, people start a fight or what? And until I realized that they really cared about it. They wanted to do something good. And all of them had also some bad experiences with charity organizations. Uh, one of them was, was really bad because he did a whole month of work to get a charity site running. And later on he found out that they did a, a big opening party of the charity which cost about 60,000 euros. And most of that money being spent on artists who performed at that uh, opening party there. And I think this is also, I, I would have also felt wrapped off. I mean, he's gonna not got to be paid. He did a very, very lot of work. And um, this is not okay. And so this was a reason for him why he got very, very emotional about it. And actually, he did not say, uh, I, I don't want to help. He was saying, no, I do not want to have this to happen to me again. And this is also the reason why I said, okay, let's uh, pay attention to this. Uh, please bring that back to the organization so we will help other people not to have the same problems, not that they have these bad experiences, so they know what to check out for. So we had uh, also a discussion what to do. And um, also thought, okay, um, it is very important uh, that they take care of themselves, that they're being not um, uh, dependent all the time from us. So it's just like uh, we show you how to swim and how to get on. And we really could agree on that. And also a problem was that we found out that some projects just fell asleep. You did some work for them, uh, PR, uh, build a website, and things just, th they did not keep on working. So we thought, okay, just to make sure that th the people are really eager to go on with the project, um, we have to show them how to do it themselves and see if they really want to learn it to improve their own project. So we found a kind of common ground. Um, we found out that we all wanted to do something good for a common co uh, for a good cause. Um, we agreed that as an individual, it's much harder than doing it in a group. And we also wanted to share the knowledge with others. And we did not really care if it was a Joomla thing, if it's a Drupal thing or WordPress thing. We want to um, offer the knowledge base to all people who consider or thinking of something good. And if some other guys just take some ideas and being able to, to do something good, this is fine, this is perfect. Please just go for it. And also, 
Um, okay, I already got that. So uh, we wanted to ed um, educate them that they are not depending on our jug. So they can go on for their own. If they got a question, no problem. Just get in touch with us. We'll help them. But we did not want to do this as a regular second job. So uh, some <coughs> practical work. Um, one of our members who's uh, working with uh, um, recovery groups from addiction problems. And they got very small clubs all over, you know, or, or nearby uh, Hamburg. Um, they have about 400 of them. I was thinking, wow, what a high number, what it is. But they nearly got, for every little part of the town, they got the all small club uh, handling uh, different addiction problems. And so they thought, okay, th we have a common head organization and I uh, know what work they do. And um, I asked them if, if, if we do something for them. And they would also say they have a regular news newsletter. So we thought, okay, we just use it as a start. We do not have to set up an own newsletter system. We just use theirs. And if some interest is coming back, they will also take care of that. Mm. And they have a major exhibition in August. And we, we reserved a slot there. We have a small talk, about 30 minutes, about how uh, charity sites can be set up with Jumla or also kind of social sites, how they get in touch with each other. And we also agreed that we will produce some flyers promoting uh, websites with Jumla for good causes. And which was also very nice. Somebody had the idea that we would produce these flyers. And a lot of company owners said, oh, just go for it. We'll just share the money and just do it, which was really cool. Um, and then we thought we used of um, we get in touch with these people, get a feedback, and then we do a one-day workshop and show them just how to do it. Um, and now to the reasons why we actually needed the jug to tackle the project, which shows really the strength of a community, and also that you do not know what the people can contribute. We just found that out at the very begin um, at the very beginning of this discussion, and s s saw to the end what actually came together, also from from sites where you did not expect it. Because somebody, oh, I know someone. That's not a problem. This is cool. Um, well, one very good issue was that we knew this person who was coming regularly to our um, uh, jug meetings. And he said, I know this recovery groups. He talk, talked uh, before it to us, so we knew, oh, this is a good cause. This, we do not have to worry about this. We will not have a big discussion if this is a worthy cause or not. Um, then we, had a f we have a fantastic uh, a a member who gives us the opportunity to work at big, um, to have meetings at big rooms of the Hamburg uh, public transport station, um, no, public transport system, and we can meet there. We can meet there with up to, I don't know, 50, 80 people. We got a beamer there. I mean, at the jug meetings, we are not that big, but we have the rooms, we got a beamer, and so we thought if we do the workshop, we could really do a workshop for up to 50 people using the beamer and going around and helping for individual questions. And uh, okay, provided that everybody would take a la laptop with them, we cannot provide that. And we found eight really general professionals who are said, okay, no problem, I take a day off and I'll do the um, actually teaching, helping and getting things done. So. So, yeah, so uh, that was the experience of 
of Frank's user group in Humberg. And I think it, it points out one of the interesting, one of the challenging uh, aspects of this program is that, or the idea behind this program, the idea as it stands now, which is that um, we want to, as I see it, the project can provide certain levels of support in terms of organizational support, um, maybe finding some sponsors that could provide hosting, extensions, templates, um, services to support user groups who want to help support these worthy causes that are also going to get some exposure on the Joomla.org website that kind of builds that, that big idea again that Joomla is not just a great CMS, but it's a community that's helping to make the world a better place. But um, different user groups may have different experiences may, within their members. They may have a different focus. They may have different um, ways that they want to apply the idea. And so part of our challenge with the project is how do we best support different user groups, giving them the flexibility to be able to apply the idea however they choose to um, in the ways that, that feel right to them. Here's some, so that's just something to keep in mind as we, again, try to move forward through this and get to the point to where we want to understand your questions and, and hear your ideas on how you think, you know, this might fit, make sense, and how we could kind of grow this idea. So one of the goals is, is that we want to empower worthy causes to manage their own sites effectively. Um, really, the, the very first idea was that Alice and I shared at Joomla Day Denmark was that, hey, we'll encourage user groups to get together, pick a worthy cause, and build them a free website. That was kind of the original idea. And then we'll all celebrate that and promote that on Joomla.org. And a user group may choose to do that. And if they do, that's great. Um, but, you know, some of the concerns that Frank's group mentioned about maybe, you know, they don't pick an agency that's really a worthy cause after all, and they, they spend big money on their opening parties, but, they, but they're getting a free website. I mean, there's just some challenges there. And so maybe in terms of a scalable solution, it's better instead of us trying to give away websites, it's better to, to really try to empower these agencies who probably don't have a lot of expertise, but if we can build up knowledge bases, build up resources, bring, build up training materials that can be shared, um, you, know, you know, Frank's going to do a group, is going to do a one-day workshop. If we can save that information and make it available to other user groups all around the world to do the same kind of thing, then that's how we can scale that idea, right? Um, and so the second goal is to provide a range of support and resource options for user groups and other open source projects. So by that, um, you know, again, kind of the idea of maybe the project helps organize and maintain knowledge bases, tutorials, um, best practices um, for how not just for to, to manage a website, but how to really manage an effective website that'll uh, um, help support your worthy causes needs. And, you know, other open source projects, that part of it is that, as Frank sort of mentioned earlier, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, um, if, a, if we can develop some really good learning materials, resources that would serve worthy causes and help them to be more effective, maybe folks in the Drupal community, WordPress community, other open source projects, they're welcome to use those same ideas and maybe they'll pick up on the concepts and their communities will help spread the idea as well. Another thing we want to do is, is get, get Joomla businesses involved. And um, so we've got this notion of sponsors and sponsorships for this program. And it might be that, uh, you know, hosting providers, template providers, um, extension developers, agency might want to get involved with this program. We want to give them that opportunity. If you think back to, um, you know, the screenshots that I showed at the Joomla.org homepage, um, if we are successful with this sponsorship idea, then whoever those sponsors are would get some recognition on the web page as well. And, and my thought is that for each website 
for each worthy cause that has a website that participates in this program, we might have an about page and we might list, you know, here's some um, volunteers and um, other sponsors that help support this website. And so it might be, um, you know, providing, providing templates that um, these worthy causes can have access to, to to build their websites or either some some customized extensions that could help support um, uh, some special needs for different worthy causes or a web agency might decide to do give some time one site a year to uh, you know as part of their contributions to the program um, hosting providers it get ask them to donate some hosting space um, for those worthy causes and then again to use the joomla.org website and the high traffic um, exposure that it has to help put a spotlight both on the uh, on the on our projects as well as their active supporters so trying to give some good recognition to all the uh, um, good things that are happening and the good people that are helping to support that uh-oh, I took the wrong button, didn't I? Sorry. Now we got to start over. I think the next slide is going to talk about some pitfalls. You know, it's a good idea, but there's some challenges there as well. Is that right, Frank? Isn't pitfalls coming next? We've got we've got 20 minutes left. So let's power through that. Give some time Thanks. for questions. So there are just also a couple of things just to be aware of. It's not just all sunshine. So <laughs> if it would be, then we would not have the need for building something like this. So. The thing is, legal issues vary from country to country. Uh, something which works perfectly in Germany does not need to work in the US, in India, in Kenya, or whatever. So we need the feedback from the community to build up knowledge bases, also taking care of individual situations there. Um, it's always important to check out what's a worthy cause or not. And this will also differ from country to country because of the legal things. So um, if I have a possibility to, to check some club records in Germany to see uh, how the money is spent, uh, I will not necessarily be able to do that in Sri Lanka. Um, also, a PR disaster could fall back on the whole project. So, uh, um, say one of the worst case scenarios, if we would uh, support a worthy cause and they would actually start killing people or something, this might blow up the whole project. So it has to be very important that we check out who gets the support. Also, uh, we do not want to take sides on political or religious issues. That's not our job. We just want to help people. That's all, plainly. Nothing more. But uh, these are not just problems. There are also a lot of opportunities. And yeah, come on, do the right stuff. All right. <laughs> so yeah, thanks. Um, so this is the last area we'll we'll cover before we kind of open it up to questions. So. Um, First off, we see that uh, you know we we an, an opportunity is that we can use our our user groups all around the world to and and let them sort of be the the American expression would be the feet on the street, um, in, instead of people on a small project team taking responsibility to kind of investigate whether a, a worthy cause is is a legitimate worthy cause or not. We can ask those local folks in that who in that area who are likely more knowledgeable to be able to give us some feedback about um, or to or to tell us whether they see it as a worthy cause or not. 
Um, another opportunity that we see is that um, if, we can, if we can get some strong support and momentum behind this project, there's an opportunity to contribute code back to the Joomla core. Um, in the area of accessibility, it may be a good example um, because accessibility issues probably tie in with some worthy causes. And um, I think Joomla has taken a step back in accessibility when we brought in the, Joom the bootstrap support for Joomla 3. Um, at least that's my understanding. And I think we want to try to improve that. And we might get some help from people in this Joomla Think Bigger program as volunteers of the project to really um, take Joomla's support for accessibility to the next level while we still main, maintain the, the bootstrap support. And then we can contribute that code back to the Joomla core and that helps everybody. Um, maybe we can, if we can get some custom work for extensions developed that again would help different aspects of um, things that would help worthy causes, then maybe those extensions get shared back on the JED and they're, they're open and available for everybody. So there's some different opportunities that um, you know might end up helping other folks beyond just this project. Um, and, uh, another potential opportunity is that um, there's when I travel to, to Joomla Day events, a question that I get asked fairly frequently is from younger people who are just trying to get started learning about building websites. And Paul, how do I get started? How do I build a portfolio up? How do I demonstrate that I've got some experience? Well, this program, this Think Bigger and in, in, in organizing support for building websites for worthy causes, I think can be a way to help some of those younger folks who are trying to get involved in um, uh, building websites, learning, learning that as a profession. This could be an easy way for them to build up a portfolio um, as they get involved with that or um, learn more about um, development if that's, if that's where their interest is. So, um, you know, at this point, we've shared a, a, a bunch of different ideas. Um, it's still a, a relatively young initiative. Um, we don't have that directory listing up yet. We don't have the link on the home page up yet because we're still trying to kind of find our way. Um, I think, again, that's part of the, the uh, what I like about this idea is that we want to make it broad. We want to give individual user groups and individual um, agencies, individual potential sponsors, opportunities to think of ways that they're comfortable contributing. Um, and, and so we don't want to limit that. Um, and so that's, a, that's kind of good news, bad news. But the, so the bad news side of it is, is we need to sort of um, uh, it's going to be more work, the more flexibility and more, more uh, different options we, we promote and support. So um, that's what we've got prepared in terms of, of the idea to this point. And, and now we wanted to just you know, ask you guys any ideas that you have. I think there's three areas, three different areas that we're looking for help and support in. One is... If, uh, if anybody wants to, to join us on this kind of new small team, we'd love to have your, your help and your involvement. A second area is we're kind of uh, um, in a low-key way, in a not very aggressive way, we're looking to sort of build, start building a network of sponsors that would, again, maybe um, if you're a hosting provider or you know a hosting provider and you'd be interested in donating some space, some hosting space to maybe um, host some worthy cause websites, then that would, that would be something we'd like to talk more about. If you're an, a template provider or extension provider, a web agency, and you'd like to kind of get involved with this and maybe you've got some ideas, that's another um, aspect of uh, support. And then the third area is just if you're involved with a user group um, or you, maybe you want to start a user group to, to try to get something, organize some support for that, then that would be another way to get involved, way to help. I think a fourth area would be, um, you know, talking about it at events. Um, we've 
this program has been talked about at some other Joomla Day events, and, and you guys are out and active in, in those as well. And so, um, you know, whether it's in an official session or just sitting out in a coffee break, um, the more we socialize and talk about it, I think the, the greater the chances are that it can take off and, and get started. So anyway, those are some different areas I think that we're looking for help. And uh, um, what ideas do you guys have? Or what questions or concerns do you guys have? I just got one very um, small thing. Um, it is, think a little bit out of the box. You do not have to provide a complete solution. In a deal would be okay. Maybe if, if you just know worth a cause that will help other people just to do something. So do not try. S small things actually really help. I discovered it when I go also, uh, if, if, if I bring my little uh, daughter to the uh, kindergarten, uh, I try to greet every person I meet on the street, which is actually not that very long. But I actually saw over now two years, changes happens in the people. Because people just start smiling when they see me from a distance. Oh, that's a small change, did not really take much. So just take this as an example that small things can really start other changes as well. So um, please, I'm, I got here notes to take. So please just go ahead. Any questions, ideas, <coughs> please. Oh, thanks, Phil. Oh, that's cool. Oh, thanks. Just, 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 just very, very cool. Just for the c recordings, uh, Phil just offered to uh, his fantastical templates to for worthy courses, which is very, very good. Thank you, Phil. Cool. Yeah. So for you, for to do a picture or to do a variety on the street. Oh, this would be cool. And uh, of course, uh, about uh, the expression and so on, we uh, uh, publish a lot of plugins for developers and freelance actually. So we open the door uh, for all to take it. Oh, thank you very much. This is very, very, very kind of you. This would be fantastically, would be a great help. Appreciate it.
Gotcha. Gotcha. That's a, those are great thoughts. Thanks, Kevin, John. And, um, you know, one of the, we, we didn't mention it here, but we talked, we had talked and thought about the idea of, of kind of a distribution, which, you know, is, is right along the lines of what you're saying with that. And I think that, you know, if it, it may, if, if that idea takes root, and I, th I think it makes sense, um, over time, we may end up with a range of distributions that might be optimized for different kinds of worthy causes with different feature sets and stuff. And that, that idea of distributions is, is on the CMS roadmap. And, um, but I haven't really seen too much um, active work going on about how are we going to move forward with supporting distributions from a project standpoint. Um, and I mean, that's, with a lot of things in Joomla, um, it's easy enough to come up with a good idea, right? But it's it's how do you find the volunteers to actually bring it to life? And that's an area where, you know, back to your point, I think um, we could help sort of move that distributions idea in general forward if we offer, if, if we start moving down that direction. And I really like that idea of just kind of a package. We could, you know, from, from, Hosting templates, you know, a distribution, a set of uh, training materials um, that could be available to, to user groups all over the world who say, "Yeah, we like the idea, but we don't really know how to apply it." And then we can say, "Well, here's your process, and here's all the materials that are out there." So that'd, that's a great way to simplify that and use it up. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, you bet. All right. Okay, thanks. Good. It's some of this we have, but this is um, more of this is country related. For example, in Germany, we uh, have to provide an imprint. There has to be somebody who's reliable. Um, some of the things the um, actually charity organization has to take care of means bookkeeping, being registered, a uh, person being responsible for the pi uh, finance. Um, this may also vary from country to country. So if it works in Germany, it doesn't need to work somebody el somewhere else. So this will will vary. I found out, for example, with the um, oh, m my basic idea, even if I do not get all the content that I would like to have, is it is very important that a charity organization makes a very very precise public bookkeeping, so the people actually can see where the money goes. And Second, that they um, make a, an, at least an annual report what work has been done in that year. And that has to be also a process so that you can track down historically what the people had done. Second, it would be very advisable if they got at least one article blog post per month just saying, oh, this month we did this, we visit that uh, school, we treated so and so many uh, children, we had a big draft there, uh, water is a real problem, or no, it's rainy season, uh, we cannot really travel, we cannot use the roads, so we just do the schools that are nearby our, our central station. S it's just stuff like this, so just to get them informed. Uh, a diary would be asked so much, but I think... Um, um, one blog article a month uh, should be doable.
That's a that's a you bet. Yeah, good suggestion. Thanks. Um, we'll be sure to follow up with Ryan about that. Um, we're out of time. I want to thank everybody for listening. Um, thanks for sharing your ideas. There's an email address. Maybe tough to see from back there, but it's thinkbigger@community.joomla.org. And um, if you all think of anything, you know, after we all go home um, after this conference, um, could be about you know a, a worthy cause that you know of that you think might need help with this, or you know you've got some questions about trying to um, put a presentation together for your user group or um, anything else, send an email to that. That'll come to Frank and I and, and Henrik, and um, uh, we'll follow up with you. And so I think uh, that's our idea. Um, thanks for helping to make it better. And uh, um, keep, keep an eye out on the Joomla.org website. We put some blog posts out about it, and I think um, we're going we're gonna to keep moving forward with it. So thanks very much. Thanks for listening. Thank